Did you know that Airbus A220 first launched on the market in early 2016? Airbus launched with a capacity of 100 to 160 passengers and is the best airliner in the aviation industry to date. Want to know why? Then keep watching the video until the end. Hello guys, welcome to another exciting news from Aviation News. In today's video, we're going to talk about why the Airbus A220 could be the best aircraft in the world. So without any further ado, let's begin. The Airbus A220 is a new generation narrow-body airliner that lies between a regional jet and a more classic medium-haul aircraft. The A220, earlier known as the C-Series, was originally assembled by Bombardier from a clean sheet design. The first airplane reached from Montreal in Paris and the last one of 60 is going to be produced by 2025 with up to 15 per year arriving in the next few years. The airplane acquired a type certificate from Transport Canada in December 2015. But with more advanced changes, it is the best airliner in the aviation fleet. It has advanced side stick controls, head-up displays, HUDs, five large-format LCD display screens, a sensed electronic checklist, wireless electronic flight bag capability, an intuitive flight management system and an auto-throttle, and virtual electrical circuit breakers accessible via the displays. The seating of this Airbus is unique, with fewer seats and matching capacity to other single-aisle aircraft, the A220 has confirmed itself as the best option for post-coronavirus travel. Airlines want aircraft that have an identical range and economic version like the larger models but with fewer seats. The smaller capacity also makes it more delicate, greatly reducing costs for airlines. The engine is powered by a pair of Pratt & Whitney Pure Power PW1500G geared turbofan engines which make it more powerful yet with fuel efficiency. Airbus proclaims the A220 is 30% cheaper to operate per seat and uses 25% less fuel. The company says the type also radiates 25% less carbon dioxide emissions per seat and 50% less nitrous oxide than CAEP6 standards and generates a 50% smaller noise footprint. These savings align with the industry's focus on being more cost-effective and environmentally trustworthy. State-of-the-art materials have been used for the empennage, rear fuselage, nacelle and wings for weight savings. The jet considerably uses lightweight carbon fiber composites and boasts an aluminium-lithium fuselage and enhanced aerodynamic advances. Materials are composed of advanced composites like 46% aluminium-lithium, 24% standard materials, 21% percent titanium and 8% steel. In an interview, the CEO of Airbus mentioned some of the features of their fleet. The new raised MZFW MLW will offer working flexibility in the form of additional payload. This extra payload funding will enable airlines to offer to their passengers more weight on board. Combining this improvement with the MTOW increase proves that we're constantly improving the performance boundaries of the aircraft. All of the data is launched onto these screens. The A220's flight management system is a computer system that automates a wide range of in-flight tasks. It can decide the airplane's position and, in line with the flight plan, calculate the course the aircraft needs to follow using a very smart autopilot. According to Airbus's marketing material, the A220 has 3100 to 3300 nanometer range. If we would go for a takeoff now, we would have made sure that all of the panels are set up accordingly, then we would have to set up the FMS, then we would have our maps set accordingly, he explains. The A220 embodies the breeze ideal of merging kindness with technology, pairing unrivaled passenger comfort with eco-friendly efficiency, said C. Jeffrey Nittle, Airbus America's chairman and CEO. With the A220, Breeze is giving its passengers the widest cabin, highest ceiling, largest windows, and largest overhead stowage in this class, while still managing to burn 30% less fuel with half the noise footprint of past generations with new power upgradation. The new powers offered by the A220 are another reason for the aircraft's popularity. The upgrade in the power of the engines can now achieve new heights. A220 can now reach New York from Western Europe, fly from Dubai to Bangkok, or operate from Hong Kong to Cairns, Australia. More generally, the A220 ends up outperforming all its peers in terms of cabin comfort, with an overall cabin average rating of 8.6 on 10, which is 1.2 points higher than the 737-700, which ends last in this benchmark. The fairly new cabins undoubtedly help boost these grades, but it is the features of the A220 itself that have retained contributors' attentions. The result is a cockpit design that is very ergonomic and intuitive. 
pilot's tail, they really feel it is very easy to fly. The flight controls and the connected fly-by-wire systems allow for better control of the aircraft and flight envelope protection, which corresponds to an increase in safety and efficiency. So, what do you guys think of the Airbus A220? Let us know in the comments below. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next video.